So keep in mind, you don't need all of the following information to uh, participate in this upcoming project, but uh, here are the things that you might need to prepare for an online loan application. One is having a clear understanding of your personal and business credit histories. Another thing is having your business financials prepared, having prepared your accounting in QuickBooks or working with a third-party accountant, having your taxes paid, but also having your tax filings on hand. And then the last piece is having your deposit accounts available. Traditionally, at a bank, you might need to print out your physical deposit statements. Um, with Bond Street, you can log into your bank account and share that information. Lenders really want to understand the full holistic view into the financial health of your business. And there are a few different components to, uh, to getting that sort of comfort or visibility. Um, the first is understanding the owner's or the borrower's personal credit history. Chances are you have a credit card, you have a student loan, uh, you maybe have a car or an existing mortgage. All of those different types of uh, tr finance transactions play into your personal credit score. Um, the most common name for that type of uh, personal credit score is the FICO score. And that's just really a number up to 850 that delineates the, how successful you've been in repaying those types of existing financial transactions. What's less commonly known is the fact that your business might also have a credit score. So if you're a first-time uh, entrepreneur and you haven't incorporated, this might not apply to you. But if you're an existing business with revenue uh, or with you know, real profit, you very likely will have a business credit score, especially if you have a business credit card, if you've borrowed in the past, um, or even have any sort of trade financing with potential partners, you know, like a department store, even a cable company if, you're, if you have Wi-Fi for your office. Uh, all of those things can play into your business credit score as well. Um, and there are tools online that can uh, help you get a clearer understanding of what either score might look like. Uh, so on the personal credit score side, uh, there are sites like Credit Karma, which are free tools that help you understand you know, what your FICO is and specifically, you know, what things in your personal financial history have contributed either positively or negatively to that score. On the business side, there are sites like Creditera, which specifically focus on business credit scores that will similarly help you understand the different financial transactions that have positively or negatively impacted your score. Uh, both of those pieces, whether it's the owner's personal credit histories or the business credit history, play a meaningful role in the likelihood of approval, how much you might be uh, qualified for, and at what rate. Another key component in, in preparing to apply for a term loan is understanding your uh, existing tax history. So hopefully you've paid both your personal and your business taxes. Um, if you haven't, go do that. <laughs> uh, Bond Street makes it really easy to uh, just e-sign basically a tax authorization form that allows us to pull your full uh, tax history. So you don't have to go looking for those physical documents yourself. And that is, again, just another way for lenders to get comfortable with, you know, what is the amount of revenue that you've disclosed to the government? Uh, what is the amount of profitability that you've paid taxes on in the past? How does that compare to your self-reported financial statements in QuickBooks? Uh, so it's a great check. It's not the, um, you know, only metric that lenders use to gauge the health of your business, but it's an important one uh, to have prepared in advance. The last piece that you should have prepared prior to applying for term loans is having your full deposit history available. So what most lenders look for is at least three months of your deposit history. And really what that means is, you know, how much cash do you have in your bank account? How does that cash flow fluctuate, you know, on a daily or monthly basis? Um, you know, what is your daily revenue look like? Is it choppy? Is it consistent? Is it smooth? These are all sort of metrics that a lender is going to look at to understand the riskiness of your business specifically. So each of these different um, financial metrics affect both the likelihood of being approved for a term loan, uh, but also the amount that you might be approved for and the interest rate. And we'll get in specifically to what, an, what interest means and what uh, the true cost of the loan uh, might dictate. But generally, what a lender is looking for is uh, what is the financial health of your business and how risky is it going to be for us to lend to this company? And so the higher credit score you have, the more profitable your business is, the more smooth your revenue looks like, 
the more comfort that a lender is going to have uh, to lend to you, and, and most likely the lower the rate 